Tiberius Claudius Caesar, Augustus Germanicus, commonly known as Claudius, held the Roman throne from AD 41 to 54. Born on August 1st, 10th BC in Roman Gaul, Claudius emerged as an atypical figure, facing ostracism within his family due to physical ailments. So how did this unlikely emperor end up on the imperial throne? Born to Drusus and Antonia Minor in Lugdunum, Claudius faced adversity early on, being afflicted with a limp and slight deafness due to childhood sickness. As a consequence, he was perceived as non-threatening both by the tyrant emperor Tiberius and his nephew Caligula upon ascending to the throne. Consequently, he was largely excluded from public office until Caligula promoted him to the consulship in 37. In his role as consul, Claudius grappled with the challenge of managing the emperor's extravagant spending. However, attempting to persuade Caligula to curtail his revelries was perilous. Claudius had to adopt a cunning and indirect approach, leading to Caligula reinstating the notorious treason trials of Tiberius to bolster funds. This decision significantly undermined the emperor's popularity, especially among those in his own household who feared for their lives. Claudius's unexpected path to power unfolded after the assassination of Caligula, when the Praetorian Guard, recognizing him as the last surviving adult male of his family, declared him emperor. Despite his lack of experience, Claudius proved to be a capable and efficient administrator. One of Claudius's significant contributions lay in expanding the imperial bureaucracy to include freedmen, thereby fostering administrative efficiency. He played a pivotal role in restoring the empire's finances, countering the excesses of Caligula's reign. Claudius's ambitious nature manifested in extensive construction projects, including the development of roads, aqueducts, and canals across the vast expanse of the Roman Empire. His reign also marked the commencement of the successful Roman conquest of Britain. Despite all of these achievements, Claudius was still haunted by how he came to power. He viewed himself as a usurper and so felt a constant need to secure his position. This led to the deaths of numerous senators, tarnishing his reputation among ancient writers. Despite these challenges, more recent historians have re-evaluated his reign acknowledging his pragmatic approach to governance. The circumstances surrounding Claudius' death at the age of 63 remain contentious. Many historical accounts contend that he was murdered by his wife, Agrippina the Younger, perhaps driven by a desire to pave the way for her son, Nero, to ascend to the throne. Following Claudius' death, his grandnephew and legally adopted stepson, Nero, succeeded him as emperor. While Claudius's rule faced criticism and skepticism from contemporary sources, modern historians have revised their opinions, recognizing his administrative achievements and pragmatic governance. Tiberius Claudius Caesar, Augustus Germanicus, an unlikely emperor, defied expectations and left an indelible mark on Roman history. From overcoming physical challenges to steering the empire through ambitious projects and conquests, Claudius's reign stands as a testament to resilience and adaptability. The controversies surrounding his legacy underscore the complexities of interpreting historical narratives, making Claudius a figure worthy of continued exploration and analysis within the broader context of Roman imperial history. His enduring impact and the re-evaluation of his rule highlight the evolving perspectives on Claudius, prompting ongoing scholarly inquiry into the multifaceted dimensions of his leadership.